Ladies and gentlemen, it's a privilege to address you today. I'm here to discuss one of the most significant perils we encounter in life, the risk of settling into our comfort zones. Life presents us with two paths, the path of greatness or the path of mediocrity. The path of greatness demands hard work, dedication, and a constant drive to improve and become the best version of ourselves. Conversely, the path of mediocrity is far easier. It's comfortable, safe, and requires minimal effort. But make no mistake, my friends, the path of mediocrity is treacherous. When we settle for mediocrity, we sell ourselves short. We fail to live up to our full potential, neglecting the talents and abilities we've been blessed with. Moreover, settling for mediocrity means we're not fulfilling our responsibility to make a positive impact in the world. Each of us possesses unique gifts and talents, and it's our duty to utilize them for the greater good. Settling for mediocrity means shirking this responsibility, failing to make a difference, and leaving behind a legacy we can't be proud of. Settling for mediocrity not only robs us of our potential and purpose, but also leads to a life of regret. Picture yourself years from now, reflecting on your life. Will you be proud of the person you've become? Will you be satisfied with your accomplishments? Or will you harbor regrets for opportunities missed and risks avoided due to settling for mediocrity? We only have one life to live, and we cannot afford to waste it by settling for mediocrity. We must strive for greatness in every aspect of our lives, our careers, relationships, health, and personal development. This requires the courage to step out of our comfort zones, take risks, and push ourselves to excel. I understand that the path of greatness is daunting. It requires hard work, dedication, and perseverance. But let me assure you, the rewards are worth it. When we strive for greatness, we grow as individuals. We become stronger, more resilient, and more confident. Our actions and achievements inspire others to pursue greatness themselves, creating a ripple effect of positive change. So, how do we avoid settling for mediocrity? The first step is to have a clear vision of what we want to achieve in life. We must set goals, define our purpose, and chart a path to success. Without a clear vision, we risk getting lost in the distractions and temptations of mediocrity. The second step is to surround ourselves with people who push us to be better. As the saying goes, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. If we surround ourselves with people who settle for mediocrity, we'll inevitably follow suit. But if we surround ourselves with those who strive for greatness, we'll be inspired and motivated to do the same. The third step is to constantly challenge ourselves. We mustn't be afraid to step out of our comfort zones and try new things. We must be open to learning and growing, even if it means making mistakes along the way. As Henry Ford once said, failure is simply the opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. Finally, we must adopt a mindset of continuous improvement. We must never be satisfied with where we are. We must always strive to be better today than we were yesterday. This mindset will keep us on the path of greatness and prevent us from settling for mediocrity. In a world that values comfort and security, it's tempting to play it safe and avoid taking risks. But this mindset will only lead to mediocrity. If we truly want to achieve greatness, we must be willing to take risks. Not reckless and impulsive risks but calculated risks that have the potential to bring about positive change in our lives. I'll share a personal story to illustrate this point. When I was in my early 20s, I worked as a stock clerk in a small store. While I was content with my job, deep down, I knew I wanted more. I wanted to be successful and make a difference in the world. So, I took a risk. I quit my job and started my own business. It was a scary decision but it was also the best decision I ever made. That business eventually grew into a multi-million dollar enterprise and changed my life forever. If I had played it safe and stayed in my comfortable job, I would have never achieved the level of success and fulfillment that I have today. Taking that risk was the catalyst for my personal growth and development. It taught me valuable lessons, pushed me out of my comfort zone, and ultimately led me to where I am today. I understand that taking risks can be frightening, 
It means facing the possibility of failure, rejection, or disappointment. But ask yourself, what's scarier, taking a risk or living a life of regret? Regret is a heavy burden to carry, the result of not taking action and not taking risks. So, how can we overcome the fear of taking risks? The first step is to change our mindset. Instead of seeing risks as something to be avoided, we must see them as opportunities for growth and success. Every risk we take, regardless of the outcome, teaches us something valuable. The second step is to be prepared. Taking risks doesn't mean being reckless. It means doing your research, having a plan, and being willing to adapt if things don't go as expected. The third step is to surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with successful and like-minded individuals who will support and encourage you to take risks. And finally, remember that taking risks is a continuous process. As we grow and evolve, so do our goals and dreams, and with that comes the need to take new risks. We must be willing to constantly challenge ourselves and step out of our comfort zones if we want to continue growing and achieving our full potential. Fear and self-doubt are significant obstacles on the path to success and fulfillment. They prevent us from reaching our true potential, holding us back from pursuing our dreams. But fear and self-doubt are merely illusions, constructs of our minds. I've experienced fear and self-doubt in my own life. I remember being a young man with big dreams and aspirations, held back by my own fears and doubts. But I realized that if I wanted to achieve my goals and live a life of purpose and meaning, I had to overcome them. It wasn't easy. It took a lot of hard work, determination, and perseverance. But I can say with absolute certainty that it was worth it because on the other side of fear and self-doubt lies a world of endless possibilities and opportunities. So how can we overcome fear and self-doubt? How can we break free from the grip and live a life of courage and confidence? Well, I have a few suggestions that I believe can help you on your journey. First and foremost, we must understand that fear and self-doubt are natural reactions to the unknown. We are wired to seek safety and security, and anything that threatens that can trigger our fears and doubts. But we must also understand that fear and self-doubt are just emotions. They are not facts. They do not define who we are or what we are capable of. The next step is to identify the root cause of our fears and doubts. Often, they are based on past experiences or limiting beliefs that we have picked up along the way. We must challenge these beliefs and ask ourselves, is this fear or doubt based on reality, or is it just a story I am telling myself? By questioning our thoughts, we can start to break free from their hold on us. Another powerful tool for overcoming fear and self-doubt is to surround ourselves with positive and supportive people. The company we keep has a significant impact on our mindset and outlook on life. So it is crucial to surround ourselves with people who believe in us, who encourage us, and who push us to be our best selves. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. But perhaps the most important step in overcoming fear and self-doubt is to take action. You see, fear and self-doubt thrive in inaction. They paralyze us and prevent us from moving forward. But when we take action, even small steps, we start to build momentum and gain confidence. And as we continue to take action, fear and self-doubt slowly start to lose their power over us. You see, change is an inevitable part of life. It is something that we cannot escape, no matter how hard we try. But the truth is, change is not something to be feared, but rather something to be embraced. It is through change that we grow, evolve, and become the best versions of ourselves. Now, I know that change can be scary. It can be uncomfortable and even painful at times. But let me tell you, the pain of staying the same is far greater than the pain of change. If we resist change, we are essentially resisting growth and progress in our lives. Think about it. If we never changed, we would still be crawling on our hands and knees as babies. We would never learn to walk, to talk, to read, to write. We would never experience the wonders of the world, the beauty of nature, the joy of love. Change is what propels us forward, what pushes us to reach our full potential. But why do so many of us resist change? 
Why do we cling on to the familiar, even if it no longer serves us? The answer is simple, clear. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of discomfort. We are creatures of habit, and change disrupts our routines and comfort zones. But let me tell you, fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real. It is just an illusion that holds us back from living our best lives. In order to truly embrace change, we must first change our mindset. We must shift our perspective and see change as an opportunity for growth, rather than a threat. We must let go of the fear and trust in the process of life. As the saying goes, the only constant in life is change. So why not embrace it and make the most out of it? Now, I'm not saying that change is easy. It takes courage, determination, and the willingness to step out of our comfort zones. But let me tell you, the rewards of embracing change are immeasurable. When we embrace change, we open ourselves up to new experiences, new opportunities, and new possibilities. We allow ourselves to learn, to grow, and to become the best versions of ourselves. Think about some of the most successful people in the world. They did not get to where they are by staying stagnant and resisting change. They embraced change, they adapted, and they evolved. They took risks, they failed, but they kept moving forward. They understood that change is not a setback, but a stepping stone towards success. So how do we embrace change in our own lives? The first step is to identify what needs to change. What areas of your life are you not satisfied with? What habits or patterns are holding you back? Once you have identified these areas, the next step is to take action. It is not enough to just acknowledge the need for change. We must actively pursue it. And I know change can be overwhelming. It can feel like we have to completely transform our lives overnight. But that is not the case. Change is a process, and it starts with small, consistent steps. Just like a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, change happens gradually. So start with one small step, and then another, and another. Before you know it, you will have made significant progress towards your desired change. Another important aspect of embracing change is to surround yourself with positivity and support. Find a mentor or a friend who has successfully embraced change and seek their guidance. Surround yourself with people who uplift and encourage you, rather than bring you down. And most importantly, be kind and patient with yourself. Change takes time and it is okay to stumble and make mistakes along the way. The important thing is to keep moving forward. We live in a society that is constantly seeking comfort and convenience. We have become accustomed to instant gratification and the path of least resistance. But I'm here to tell you that the greatest growth and success in life comes from embracing discomfort. Let me ask you this. Have you ever achieved something great by staying in your comfort zone? Have you ever accomplished your dreams by playing it safe and avoiding any form of discomfort? I highly doubt it. You see, discomfort is not something to be feared. It is something to be embraced. It is a sign that you are pushing yourself, that you are challenging yourself, and that you are growing. Without discomfort, there can be no growth. Think about it. When you go to the gym and lift weights, you are intentionally putting your body through discomfort. But it is through that discomfort that your muscles grow and become stronger. The same principle applies to life. When you face discomfort, you are strengthening your character, your mindset, and your ability to handle challenges. One of my favorite quotes is by the great Greek philosopher Socrates, who said, No man has the right to be an amateur in the matter of physical training. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. I believe this applies not only to physical training but also to personal development. We must train ourselves to embrace discomfort and see it as a necessary part of our growth. We must not shy away from it, but rather lean into it and use it as a tool to propel us towards our goals and dreams. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, but Jim, discomfort is uncomfortable. Why would I willingly put myself through that? And my answer to that is simple. Because the rewards on the other side of discomfort are far greater than the temporary discomfort itself. Let me share with you a personal story. When I was just starting out in my career, 
I was working as a salesman for a small company. I was comfortable, making a decent salary, and living a relatively easy life. But I knew deep down that I was capable of more. I had big dreams and aspirations. But I was too afraid to step out of my comfort zone. It wasn't until I attended a personal development seminar that everything changed for me. The speaker challenged us to step out of our comfort zones and do something that scared us. And that's exactly what I did. I quit my job and started my own business. It was one of the scariest and most uncomfortable decisions I've ever made. But it was also one of the best. That decision led me down a path of growth, success, and fulfillment that I never could have imagined. And it all started with embracing discomfort. Now, I'm not saying that you should quit your job and start your own business. But what I am saying is that you must be willing to step out of your comfort zone if you want to achieve your dreams. You must be willing to face discomfort and use it as a tool to propel you towards your goals. The truth is, discomfort is a necessary ingredient for success. It is the fuel that drives us towards our dreams and helps us reach our full potential. Without it, we would become stagnant and complacent. I often hear people say that they want to be successful, but they don't want to go through the discomfort that comes with it. But the reality is, success and discomfort go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. So my challenge to you today is to embrace discomfort. Seek it out, welcome it, and use it to your advantage. Whether it's trying something new, taking on a new challenge, or stepping out of your comfort zone, do it with courage and determination. Because on the other side of discomfort lies growth, success, and fulfillment. In part two of this series, we will dive deeper into the topic of personal development and how it ties in with embracing discomfort. But for now, I want you to reflect on this speech and ask yourself, am I willing to embrace discomfort in order to achieve my dreams? Remember, discomfort is not something to be feared. It is something to be embraced. So go out there and embrace it. And I promise you, the rewards will be worth it. Thank you. Today, I want to address a topic that I believe is holding many of you back from reaching your goals and dreams. It's something I've seen time and time again in my years of experience, and that, my friends, is perfectionism. It's preventing you from taking action. Perfectionism is a mindset that demands everything we do must be flawless, without any mistakes. It's the belief that anything less than perfection isn't good enough. While it might seem like a positive trait, the truth is, Perfectionism is a dangerous trap that can hinder us from living our best lives. Perfectionism is rooted in fear, the fear of failure, making mistakes, and not being good enough. When this fear controls us, we become paralyzed, focusing so much on achieving perfection that we forget to take action. We get stuck in the planning stage, endlessly trying to make everything just right before we even begin. As a result, we never actually accomplish anything. Moreover, perfectionism often leads to procrastination. We convince ourselves that we can't start a project until everything is perfect, the perfect idea, plan, and timing. But the reality is, perfection is unattainable. While we wait for perfection, time passes us by, and we miss out on opportunities and experiences. Another danger of perfectionism is that it sets unrealistic expectations for ourselves. We create an idealized image of what our lives should be like, and when reality falls short, we feel like failures. Constant self-criticism diminishes our self-esteem and confidence. But here's the truth. Perfectionism is an illusion, an unattainable goal that leaves us feeling unsatisfied and inadequate. Imperfections are what make us unique and interesting. I'm not saying we shouldn't strive for excellence and do our best. But there's a big difference between striving for excellence and striving for perfection. Excellence is about doing our best and continuously improving. It's about progress, not perfection. Perfection, on the other hand, demands flawlessness, which is simply not achievable. So, what can we do to overcome perfectionism and start taking action towards our goals and dreams? The first step is to recognize that perfectionism is a problem. It's important to acknowledge that our fear of failure and our need for perfection are holding us back. Once we're aware of this, we can start to change our mindset. The next step is to let go of our need for control. 
Perfectionism is often rooted in our desire to have everything go exactly as planned. But the truth is, life is unpredictable, and things rarely go as planned. We need to learn to let go of our need for control and embrace the unknown. It's in the unknown that we can find new opportunities and experiences. Another way to overcome perfectionism is to focus on progress, not perfection. Instead of striving for perfection, strive for progress. Celebrate your small wins and improvements along the way. Remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about making progress towards your goals. Finally, learn to embrace your imperfections. They're what make you unique and beautiful. Instead of trying to hide or fix them, embrace them. Embrace your quirks, flaws, and mistakes. They're all a part of who you are and should be celebrated. In a society that constantly bombards us with messages of perfection, it's important to remember that perfection is a myth. Imperfections are what make us human and interesting. Embrace your imperfections and use them as opportunities for growth. Fear of failure is something we've all experienced at some point in our lives. It's a natural human emotion designed to protect us from harm. But when we let it consume us and dictate our actions, that's when it becomes a problem. So, how do we overcome this fear of failure? How do we break free from its grip and unleash our full potential? Well, I have some good news for you, it is possible. Today, I am going to share with you some practical steps that you can take to conquer your fear of failure and start living a life of purpose and fulfillment. The first step towards overcoming fear of failure is to understand that failure is not the opposite of success, it is a part of success. Let me say that again, failure is not the opposite of success, it is a part of success. Think about it, every successful person you admire has failed at some point in their journey. But what sets them apart is that they didn't let their failures define them, they didn't let it stop them from moving forward. Instead, they used their failures as stepping stones towards their ultimate goal. So, my friends, I want you to reframe your mindset when it comes to failure. Instead of seeing it as something to be feared, see it as an opportunity to learn and grow. Embrace your failures and use them as a tool to become better, stronger, and wiser. The second step towards overcoming fear of failure is to identify the root cause of your fear. Is it a fear of judgment? Is it a fear of not being good enough? Is it a fear of losing everything you have worked for? Whatever it may be, it is important to identify the root cause so that you can address it head on. One way to do this is to visualize the worst case scenario. What is the absolute worst thing that could happen if you fail? And then ask yourself, can you handle it? Most of the time, the answer is yes, and that realization alone can help alleviate some of your fears. The third step is to take action. As the saying goes, action cures fear. The longer we sit and dwell on our fears, the bigger they become. But when we take action, we are taking control of our fears and proving to ourselves that we are capable of overcoming them. So, my friends, I urge you to take that first step, no matter how small it may seem. Whether it's signing up for that class you've been wanting to take, starting that business you've been dreaming of, or having that difficult conversation with a loved one, take action. And I promise you, the more you do it, the easier it will become. The fourth step towards overcoming fear of failure is to surround yourself with the right people. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So, if you want to overcome your fear of failure, surround yourself with people who have already done it. Find a mentor who can guide you, a support system who can cheer you on, and a community who can hold you accountable. Having the right people in your corner can make all the difference when it comes to overcoming fear of failure. And finally, my friends, the last step towards conquering your fear of failure is to have faith in yourself. Believe in your abilities, your strengths, and your resilience. Believe that you are capable of achieving great things, and that even if you do fail, you have what it takes to bounce back and try again. Remember, failure is not the end, it is just a detour on the road to success. And the only way to truly fail is to give up. So, have faith in yourself and keep moving forward, no matter how many times you may stumble and fall. Think about it, every successful person you admire has imperfections. 
They have made mistakes, faced failures, and experienced setbacks. But what sets them apart is their ability to embrace those imperfections and use them as stepping stones to success. They didn't let their flaws hold them back. Instead, they used them as fuel to propel themselves forward. One of my favorite quotes is by the great Winston Churchill, who said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. This quote perfectly encapsulates the essence of embracing imperfection. Success is not a destination, it is a journey. And along that journey, we will face failures and setbacks. But it is our courage to continue, to learn from our mistakes, and to keep moving forward that will ultimately lead us to success. I want you to think about the most successful person you know. Now, think about their imperfections. Can you even name one? That's because their imperfections do not define them. It is their determination, resilience, and perseverance that have brought them to where they are today. So, why do we fear imperfection? Why do we let it hold us back from reaching our full potential? It is because we have been conditioned to believe that it is something to be ashamed of. We have been taught to hide our flaws and present a perfect image to the world. But let me tell you, my friends, Imperfection is not something to be ashamed of, it is something to be celebrated. Our imperfections make us unique, they make us human, they give us character and depth, and most importantly, they give us the opportunity to grow and improve. Without imperfection, there would be no room for growth, we would become stagnant and complacent. When we embrace imperfection, we give ourselves the freedom to make mistakes and learn from them. We no longer fear failure. Instead, we see it as a necessary step towards success. But embracing imperfection is not just about our own personal growth. It is also about how we view and treat others. When we let go of our own need for perfection, we can also let go of our judgment towards others. We can see them as imperfect beings just like us and accept them for who they are. This creates a more compassionate and understanding world where we can all support and uplift each other. So, how can we start embracing imperfection in our own lives? The first step is to let go of the need for perfection. Stop comparing yourself to others and focus on your own journey. Embrace your flaws and see them as opportunities for growth. And most importantly, be kind to yourself. We are often our own harshest critics, but we must learn to be our own biggest cheerleaders. Another important aspect of embracing imperfection is to surround ourselves with people who accept us for who we are. We are greatly influenced by the people we spend the most time with, so it is essential to surround ourselves with positive and supportive individuals who embrace imperfection themselves. In closing, my friends, I want to leave you with this thought. Imperfection is not a weakness, it is a strength. It is what makes us human and what gives us the opportunity to grow and succeed. So, let us embrace our imperfections, celebrate them, and use them to our advantage as we continue on our journey of personal development. Let us remember that perfection is not the goal. Rather, it is the courage to embrace imperfection that will lead us to true success and fulfillment. Thank you. Oh